Hello everyone, it's Jen Scrapina Creations. Welcome back to another collaboration with Christy Marcotte. This time we are using the adorable Fairy Garden Collection by Doodlebug. So I'm going to use the odds and ends, which is the ephemera pieces. There's 192 die cut pieces. Now a lot of these are really tiny flowers, um, but still lots of variety in the ephemera pack. The 6x6 six six pattern paper is sweet. I mean, Doodlebug never disappoints. So I'm just going to give you a close-up look here before I get into creating my cards. So together, Christy and I created 45 cards. Now she came in with 31, and I have 14 original designs for you today with the collection. So I do hope you enjoy our collaboration. Now I wanted to show you the stamps where I'm getting the sentiments from. So the first one is Mon Fawn Unicorn Picnic. I relied heavily on the Heavy Doodle Happily Ever Crafter. I have the die cuts for that, which also has the dies for the word princess and magical. So I use the magical quite a bit. I'm also going to bring in the Doodlebug All Occasions stamp set. The Heffy Doodle Absolutely Awesome with the little fairies. And then I also used the Lawn Fawn A Bug Deal for one of my cards. So let's jump in to card number one. So I started off with a couple slimline cards. These are some dies from Heffy Doodle and all of the products that I use today will be linked in the description box below so you can easily access everything that I'm using in the video if you want to take a peek or are interested in purchasing something. So for this little inside panel this is a, a stitched slimline rectangle die from Heffy Doodle and I cut out a couple of the pattern papers. Now I also cut it out of some white cardstock so I could get the size right. Of course, with a 6x6 six six pattern paper, it doesn't fit a full slimline. So I'm using the cute little mushrooms in the grass for the bottom of my slimline card. And then this kind of starburst pattern paper for the top. Now where those two papers come together, I'm just going to put a strip of this rainbow striped paper. You're not going to see much of it, just a little bit of that right hand side peeking out. So for those of you who are not familiar with slimline cards, I make my slimline cards eight and a half by three and a half. So it gives you lots of area to create little scenes, which is what I'm doing here with this card. So I'm going to have the little mushroom house to the top part of my card with the little grass and flowers in front of that. I'm also going to add one of the cloud ephemera to the very top and then I'm going to have my little fairy here to the bottom with the little snail on the mushroom beside her. Super cute. I really love how this card turned out. Now for the solid pattern paper that you're seeing in this video, that's a 12 by 12 paper pad that I got from Michael's. It's a Recollections brand. It's called Pastels and I'm getting tons of use out of that paper pad. So it's one of those everyday value ones. So it was pretty inexpensive and I've been able to use it with a number of the past collections I've been using recently. So pretty happy with that investment. So here you can see where I'm using the magical die cut word that I've stamped out with some of my Catherine Pooler ink. So this one is the Be Mine color. I'm also going to use Pixie Dust, which is a purple, and then All That Jazz, which is like a teal turquoise color. So for some final touches, I'm just going to add some glitter here with my shimmer pen, and that will finish up card number one. Moving on to card number two, I couldn't resist these sweet little fairies. So I'm actually going to put three of them on the slimline card. So I'm using the same background here as the first card with that purple 
paper from Recollections. And then I wanted to have this floral pattern for this inside panel. Now, of course, it didn't reach, so there is going to be a seam. I wasn't sure if I wanted that seam to be at the top or if I could hide it more easily at the bottom. But as I was looking at this when I flipped it towards the bottom, I decided to pull out my scallop die from Lawn Fawn. And I'm just going to add a scallop border here where those two papers overlap. I'll trim that up and there is my background done for this card. So I'm gonna have the little fairies here so the ones facing to the left, I'm going to put to the right hand side of the card and then the fairy facing the right to the left hand side. That will just help balance those cute little sweet fairies. Now you could definitely pop these up on some foam tape for some added dimension. I'm just going to have them adhered straight down to my panel with my liquid adhesive. I'm using Barely Art craft glue and again I'm going to use this same sentiment here as the first card your magical this time I'm just going to fussy cut around the word your I actually think I prefer this look to the kind of rectangle or box kind of look from the first card it's all preference of course either one is fine but I like how this just kind of snugs in to the word magical. So once I get that into place, I will move on to adding some final details here. I used a black glaze pen. This is one of my favorite ways to kind of add a little something extra to ephemera on the eyes and it really pops in person. So if you don't have one of those, they're really inexpensive. It is linked down below and I would recommend them highly. So there is card number two complete. And then here's a close up of the third card. So I then moved on to some mini slimline cards. Now this scalloped background is a mini slimline die from their set um, from Trinity Stamps, one of their sets, and it's perfect. It cuts out three by six. I trimmed down the pattern paper just by, I think, a quarter of an inch to the top and the side so that you could see some of that scallop border. And then I'm going to place three of the butterflies on my panel here. And then I stamped out the word congrats from the Doodlebug All Occasion stamp set. Now I did pop up all of these on some foam tape. So this one, you do get some dimension and I will add some of that black glaze pen to their eyes. Card number four, another mini slimline. This one is horizontal. I already went ahead and stamped out the sentiment, thank you very much from the Heffy Doodle Happily Ever, no sorry, that's from the Absolutely Awesome stamp set. I loved this rainbow pattern paper, so I'm gonna use that as the background. And then I had this little strip just laying on my desk from cutting out some of the other pieces for a card. Now you can see how it has that indentation there, but I knew that this large piece of ephemera was going to cover that, so I wasn't too worried about that. It just breaks up that background the littlest bit. And then I went ahead and added some foam tape to the back of my little fairy and her two bird friends standing on the cloud with the rainbow. And then I just adhered the sentiment, which I cut out with a stitched circle die, right on to that pattern paper. I'm gonna give a little bit of shimmer to these clouds and that will complete that card. So moving on to the next card. So I did cut out some grass with the new Heffy Doodle Slimline Scenery dies. So I just cut it along the eight and a half side of my cardstock. And I was showing you there that just to add a little bit of interest, I did use my Distress Oxide Twisted Citron ink there. So wherever you see the die cut grass, I have already gone ahead and added some of that ink just to give it a little bit of dimension. 
With using any of the scenery or landscape dies, what I love about that is if you cut it at the eight and a half uh, side of your cardstock, when you cut for a standard card, you have a little bit left over and you'll see that I was able to use those for my mini slim lines that I have coming up. So it's a great way to kind of cut once and get a little bit more use out of your landscape uh, die cuts like the grass that I'm using here. The Heffy Doodle one has hills and then it has a cloud die as well. It's really great. It's part of their new release that just came out. So for this card, I used the sun pattern paper for the background of my little scene here with this adorable fairy sitting on a tree trunk and I'm going to have her with the little birdie on the mushroom and then the little ladybug as well. I did add three of my Heffy Doodle swirly stitched clouds. If you've been a long time viewer, you know that I love these die cuts. There's three different sizes, a large, a medium, and a small, and I love using them to fill out my scene cards. There were some cloud dies in the ephemera pack, but there weren't enough. I made quite a few scenery uh, type cards today with my 14 cards from this collection, so I did need some extra. Again, using the Your Magical Sentiment, but stamping the word Your right on to that little tree stump, which I really like. I like having that one word stand out in the colored ink as a die cut and then stamping the word, the other word that finishes off the sentiment right on to my card. So that would be my preferred way. I found with some of the other cards though, the stamped image just wouldn't show up so I did stamp them on to some cardstock. Again using my black glaze pen to finish up that card and then we can move on to the next card which is card number six. Another slimline. This one is a mini slimline card and I'm going to use this flower. It's kind of like a flower power. <laughs> Reminds me of the 60s pattern paper and then I'm going to use some of the uh, die cut grass cardstock. So this is cut at a length of six which gives me a two and a half piece left over cutting it on the eight and a half side of my cardstock and I will use that like I said for some of the upcoming cards that I have now. How cute is this little fairy door? I thought it looked really sweet coming out of that flower pattern paper. And I have the little fairy here behind the wood log with her little insect friends, which are just so sweet. This collection is so fun. So I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, have a magical day. Of course, the magical is the die cut piece. I'm just using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, which is my favorite black ink, along with, I know, a lot of other people. It just gives such a crisp impression. Now I'm using my Mini Misty as well, just to make sure that I don't make any mistakes in my stamping, and I love that you can do repeat stamping really easy with that. So there's another cute Mini Slimline completed and then I'm going to move on to a landscape sized A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to create another sweet little scene card here using the mushroom house which are these mushroom houses not the cutest little things you've ever seen so I'm going to have this house kind of centered but then slightly to the left my fairy is going to be to the left hand side because she is facing towards the right. And then I'm going to use the little fence and have that behind the mushroom house as well. Now I wasn't sure if I wanted to have the fence behind the grass or in front of it. On this card, you can't actually see a lot of that grass that I die cut out, but that's okay. It does give the illusion in those tiny little spots to the right and the left where you can see it. 
I'm going to add a few of my Heffy Doodle die cut clouds here. I will uh, add a third one to the bottom right under the cloud to the right hand side. I decided to pop up my fairy on some foam tape and then I'm going to add that black glaze pen to her eyes. Here's where I'm adding that third cloud just to balance off that scene. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I couldn't really figure out what sentiment I wanted for this card and I was a bit limited by the small space that I had there to the bottom right hand side of the card. I did grab out the hello word with uh, doodlebug all occasions and I thought that that just made for a really nice anytime card. And if you wanted to use it for a special occasion you could always stamp a sentiment on the inside uh, for a birthday or something like that. Okay so moving on to card number eight. Card number eight, another slimline card and another scene card. I just, there were so many fun little die cuts in the odds and ends ephemera pack. I just really leaned towards scenery or scene type cards today. So using the pink mushroom house this time. And for my background, I'm just using some blue pattern paper, although it's not pattern, so solid paper from my Michael's Recollections pastel paper pad. It's a really pretty color for the sky. And then again, using some die cut grass there from the Heffy Doodle Scenery dies, the slimline size. So these little lights were so cute, reminds me of kind of sitting outside in the summer and maybe just hanging out in the backyard or having some friends over when we were able to do that and hopefully we'll be able to do that soon once um, COVID is doing better. Um, we're still currently in lockdown here where I am in uh, Canada. So yeah, looking forward to being out of lockdown and being able to spend some time with friends. So this card just kind of made me happy putting it together. So I am adding some more clouds here to fill out the sky. And then I'm going to add the outdoor lights here to the top right hand side of my card, which ends up going over almost half of the top of the card, but some of that will get covered up by our little mushroom house here. I did have to add some extra glue to that right hand side of the light bulb. I just didn't get enough glue to that side. So I am going to add my mushroom here. I decided to add that with some foam tape and I will eventually add some foam tape to our, the little fairy as well. So she's super cute out in the yard. Adding some black glaze pen to her eyes and that will complete that card. So moving on to card number nine, another A2 size card. This ephemera piece was quite large, but I thought it was really sweet with her sitting on the flower stem talking to the little bird. So I'm gonna do a really simple card design here. I cut down the pattern paper four by five and a quarter just to leave me that white border. And then I cut an oval out of the bright pink pattern paper with a stitched oval die. Popped her up on some foam tape and then added the sentiment way to go, which is from the All Occasions by Doodlebug. So moving on to the next two cards, cards 10 and 11. So these are two mini slimline cards. And so I'm just showing you what I did was I cut this cloud pattern paper down the middle. So I got two panels, three by six inches, which is the size that I like to do for my mini slimline cards. So I'm able to make two cards with that one piece of pattern paper. So I am gonna add a little bit of grass here to the bottom. So these were um, the leftovers from using the slimline dies. I have the little fairy on the mushroom and then I'm going to add two of the colored clouds up top. 
And I have the little flower patch there in front of her as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the second card here. So adding that grass to the bottom and then there's this little fairy sitting on a swing hanging from a tree branch which I thought was really sweet and was the perfect size actually for the um, mini slim line and I think I gave the wrong measurements for the grass when I cut. I must have cut so I would have cut the five and a half out of the eight and a half side with the card stock and then that one gave me three left over not this so those ones are from cutting a regular A2 size card and then you get one size big enough to do uh, the mini slim lines. Not how I mentioned about doing it with the regular slim line size. So sorry about that. But I knew that I got two pieces that worked on cards from one of my cuts. So for this first card, I'm going to stamp out Have a Magical Birthday. That's from the Happy Doodle Happily Ever Crafter. I thought maybe I'd be able to do it with the second card, but that ladybug was down just a little bit too low. And that Barely Art glue is so strong, I could not get this up without ripping it, and I didn't want to rip my little ladybug. So I decided to switch out the sentiment, and I'm going to pick the sentiment You Rock from the All Occasions stamp set. And again, then I feel like this is just kind of one of those cards you could send out whenever just to let someone know that you're thinking about them. So again, to finish off, I'm going to add some black glaze pen to all of the eyes. And there's those two mini slim lines complete with only using one sheet of pattern paper. So super fun. Moving on to card number 12, I thought this one made a really pretty just because it could be a thinking of you card or a birthday card as well, but I'm going to use the wheelbarrow with the flowers inside. I'm using my well-loved Honeybee Stamps scalloped framed rectangle dies. So that's what I cut the background out of and I'm using the polka dot for the top part and then the flowers for the bottom. I had a strip of the bright pink pattern paper left so I cut that with the scalloped frame die as well but on a diagonal so it would fit over top of where those pattern papers meet. And then I just cut out a stitch circle out of the yellow solid paper from Michaels and that will be where I'm going to add my uh, wheelbarrow. And so just adding the sentiment just because, which again is just another great anytime card. So moving on to card number 13. Oh, how cute are these little glow bugs. This, I think, was my favorite patterned paper in the whole collection. So I used a hillside die. This is actually from Lawn Fawn. It's from their palm tree border set and I love how it gives like a nice rounded hill at the top and I was able to use the stitched lines for the glow bug paper and then turn that right around and use the cloud paper for the top of my card so I love how efficient this card design is for one sheet of pattern paper again using some of that yellow paper from Michael's cut out of a stitched oval so I can have my little jar of glowworms on that and then I'm going to have two of the ephemera pieces to the left hand side and here's where I use the Lawn Fawn A Bug Deal stamp set to stamp out the sentiment caught a bug which is that not perfect for this card with the little jar of glow bugs. So I absolutely love this card. Do let me know which card is your favorite. We have one more card to go. And I am so excited to see what Christy came up with. I know her cards will be fantastic. She always does such a great job. So moving on to card number 14. So this is a new die from Heffy Doodle. It's called the Slider Pop-Up, and I think it might be my now favorite interactive die. It's super simple to create. So the main die cuts out this shape from your pattern paper. 
their score lines. You just simply fold them and you can create a really fun card. So I'm just adding some of the honeycomb strip of paper here to the where the focal panel will be for this card. So the A side of that has all the sweet little honeybees on it and then the B side or the back side has the honeycomb pattern. I'm using the Heffy Doodle foam strips. Now this is double height of normal foam tape so you don't have to add two layers which is amazing. I'm going to adhere this down to my back panel, just cut out of some white cardstock. And my cardstock of choice is Accent Opaque. And I did cut out a pull tab from the back, just making sure that the stitched side is facing the back in case someone turns it over. There's a nice little stitch detailing. Then I'm gonna add the insert panel that comes as part of the die and adhere that little strip to the bottom of that insert panel. So I stamped out Have a Magical Day on two, on one of the Pebbles add-on dies. This is also from the new Happy Doodle release. Stamping out the sentiment to Have a Magical Day, and I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna place my little bees. And I do decide to move the sentiment just a little bit, but you can see once I pull that tab, and I just need to kind of wiggle that, it takes you know a little bit just to get the mechanism going, but once it's going, it's great. So then I'm going to add my other little B here. So you just wanna make sure it's not on any of the score lines, at least glued down over top of that, or the mechanism won't work. I decided to add a little bee to the inside. Now you can also stamp or write a message on the inside there. I'm just gonna wait to see what I'm going to use this card for. And then I can go ahead and add a message on the inside, or you could also write on the back as well before you put the card together. Now I'm also using the slimline pull tab die here to add that little arrow piece inside which is super cute, and I'm using the honeycomb side of that as well, so it matches that little strip of paper. Is that not adorable? I absolutely love that new die set. Okay, so I'm going to slow this down and show you all 14 cards. So again, Christy and I are sharing 45 cards in total using this collection. Super fun. I always love doing these. I know I say this every time, but you all seem to really love these collaborations as well, which makes us super happy because we love to continue doing them. Do let me know if you had a favorite card. I think the little uh, glow bugs is my favorite, but these fairies are really sweet too. So I'm not gonna show you what I have left over because I do have quite a bit and hopefully I'll be able to get back with another video finishing this collection. Here's a link to Christy's video. It'll also be down below in the description box. I'm heading over to check out her cards. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you really soon. Bye.